Hello, how to solve for s and y in this equation, s plus y is equal to 1, x, y is equal to 1. Then from here, s plus y is equal to 1, let's call this equation 1. s, y is equal to 1, let's call this equation 2. From equation 1, we have s plus y is equal to 1 then y is equal to 1 minus x let's call this equation 3 and from this equation 2 from 2 x y is equal to 1 then let's substitute for y. We have s bracket 1 minus s is equal to 1. Let's open the bracket. s times 1, that is s. Then s times minus s. We have minus s square is equal to 1. Then here is s minus s square minus 1 is equal to 0. Let's rearrange this. We have minus s square plus s minus 1 is equal to 0. Let's divide all through by minus 1. Then if you divide minus s square by minus 1, we have s square. Then if you divide plus s by minus 1, will be minus s. Then if you divide minus 1 by minus 1, we have plus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. And our quadratic general formula is given as S is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. Then from this equation, A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 1, C is equal to 1. Here we have S is equal to minus bracket minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Then here we have s is equal to minus times minus 1, that is 1, plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared, that is 1, minus 1, mod, minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1, that is minus 4 divided by go. 2 times 1, that is 2. Then here we have x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4, that is minus 3 divided by 2. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 divided by 2. Therefore, x1 is equal to 1 plus i square root of 3 divided by 2 or s2 is equal to 1 minus i square root of 3 divided by 2. You've gotten the value of s1 and s2. We can solve for y1 and y2. Then from equation 3, y is equal to 1 minus x then y1 will be equal to 1 minus s1 is 1 plus i square root of 3 divided by 2. Now y1 is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 minus 1 then minus times plus that is minus i square root of 3 
divided by 2 y1 will be equal to 1 minus i square root of 3 divided by 2. Also for y2, this is equal to 1 minus s2. Then y2 is equal to 1 minus bracket s2 is 1 minus i square root of 3 divided by 2. y2 is equal to 2 minus 1 plus i square root of 3 divided by 2. Then y2 is equal to 1 plus i square root of 3 divided by 2. Our final answers are s1 comma y1 is equal to 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 comma 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. Then s2 comma y2 is equal to 1 minus i square root of 3 divided by 2 comma 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2. We can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check. Now to check, we have the given equation s plus y is equal to 1, sy is equal to 1. Then let's check. Using any of these, let's consider this first. For s plus y equal to 1, this is equal to 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 plus 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2 must be equal to 1. You can see here that the SCM is 2. Then here will be 1 plus i root 3 plus 1 minus i root 3 must be equal to 1. This will cancel this. Now we have 1 plus 1, that is 2 <coughs> divided. 1 plus 1, that is 2 divided by 2 must be equal to 1. Then, therefore, this will cancel this. 1 is equal to 1, which is true. And let's consider the product too. Then for sy is equal to 1, then this is 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2 must be equal to 1. Take note of this that i square is equal to minus 1. So the whole of this can be written as 1 times 1, that is 1. Then 1 times minus i root 3, that is minus i root 3. Then plus i root 3 times 1, that is i root 3. Then here will be minus, here is i times i, that is i square, multiplied by root 3 times root 3, that is 3, must be equal to 1. Now we have, this we cancel this, here is 1 
minus bracket i square is minus 1 multiplied by 3 must be equal to 1. Then here is 1. 1 times 1, that will be plus 1 times 3, that is 3. Then must be equal to 1. But here we have the denominator which is 2 times 2, that is 4. So everything here divided by 4. Then we have 1 plus 3, that is 4, divided by 4. This must be equal to 1. 4 here, 1. 4 here, 1. Therefore, the left hand side, 1, is equal to the right hand side, 1, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.